Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to sit down and just talk to you about some underrated products. Some products that I really love that I feel like do not get enough hype and attention as I think they deserve. Before we get started, don't forget to upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And other than that, if you're excited and you want to hear about some underrated products, then let's go ahead and get started. I'm sorry if the lighting is a little wonky in this video. It is so incredibly gray outside. It has been raining nonstop here in Ohio in April. I don't understand. I understand like the saying, April showers bring May flowers, but you guys, it's got to stop soon, right? I have no idea. It's just like literally gray, no sun, raining outside and I hate filming when the weather is like that because I feel like it throws off the lighting in my videos and I really have to rely on my ring lights and my extra light but um your girl cannot control the weather and she has to film regardless so here we are like I said we are going to be talking about some underrated products these are just products that I love that I do not hear a ton of people talking about and I want you guys to know about them because these are really really good products the first one I want to start off talking about is the Laura Lee Los Angeles blush aesthetic palette this palette is like my new obsession. I have been wearing it pretty much nonstop. It is not the blush I have on today because I am going to be talking about a different one that I have on, but this palette is so stinking good. Whenever I hear people talking about Laura Lee Los Angeles as a brand, I mainly hear them talking about their eyeshadow palettes, mainly like the Nudie Patootie palette, which is probably her biggest launch and her most well-known makeup product that she's came out with. She, as in Laura Lee, she is the one who owns Laura Lee Los Angeles, that makes sense. She's a fellow YouTuber here on YouTube. <laughs> I feel like I'm being very redundant right now. But anyways, like I said, I feel like most people talk about their eyeshadows, which I have the Nudie 2 palette and I love it. Trust me, it's a really amazing palette. But her blushes, people don't talk about this palette and I don't know why. It is such a... A beautiful blush palette. This is really the only shade that I don't use here up in the corner. It's a little bit more of a shimmery shade called Golden Haze. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a highlight, but it's not on my insanely fair skin tone, which is totally fine. The rest of these blushes work perfectly for me and my skin tone. These colors are just so incredibly perfect, and while some of them are a little bit similar, they have just enough difference and dimension to them that they're beautiful if you go in with one blush or if you mix it together and go in with a bunch of different blushes and make your own little blush concoction, it's kind of pigmented, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes you have to be a little careful, especially with these like more brighter and deeper colors that tend to be more pigmented to begin with. But what I love about them the most is that they do not budge. They do not fade at all throughout the day. You will put this blush on in the morning and it'll still be there by the nighttime. And again, the shades are just beautiful. Quality is amazing. They don't get patchy. This is such a good palette. It's such a good palette. And I don't reach for blush palettes very often. I am more of like a single product kind of girl. Single bronzers, blushes, highlights. I don't typically reach for palettes very often, but I've just been reaching for this nonstop because it is so stinking good. <laughs> and then we have a primer that I really, really love. And I feel like this product is a little bit older. So maybe that's why it's kind of been flying under the radar recently. And I don't hear a ton of people talking about it but it's so stinking good. And it is the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. I feel like every time I use this in a get ready with me, I say how it's underrated and how much I love it and how I feel like more people should be talking about it. So here I am giving it its spot in the limelight to tell you all about how amazing it is. What the main thing I love about this product is, it is pore filling like it says. It's called the No Pore Bloom Primer, right? So it does fill in your pores, but I like that you can use this all over your face. Now, is this going to be as good of a pore filling primer as the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer or the Catrice Goodbye Pores Primer? No, definitely not. This is not going to be as pore filling and as smoothing as those primers. However, with those ones, you can only really use them where you need the pore filling, so mainly for me and my T-zone. This, I can go over my whole entire face with it, and I just feel like it gives a beautiful canvas, and it just kind of smooths everything out, makes it that much more perfected. It's a little bit hydrating as well, which I like. Again, pore filling primers can be a little, not drying, but you can't use a lot. You can only put them where you need to. Sometimes they pill up. This doesn't do any of that. This is just beautiful on the skin. I've gone through one whole one in the past, and as you can see, I'm kind of flying through this one. Plus, it's really not that expensive in my opinion, and it's available at Ulta. So I will have this link down below. I will have all of these linked down below in case you want to check them out, but I highly recommend. Next up, we have the Fenty Beauty Cream Lip Glosses. Now, 
don't get me wrong i don't think that fenty beauty is underrated or like not hyped up enough because everyone knows about fenty beauty it's been around for a very long time it's a beautiful makeup brand it's very well known right and even their gloss bombs are very well known However, I feel like for the most part, people talk about their original gloss bombs that are a little bit more sparkly. Or here recently, she's released her gloss bomb heats that have came out in a couple different colors. And they're like a more of like a lip plumping sort of gloss that from what I understand has like the cinnamon plumping effect on your lips. I don't like that effect, so I have not tried them. But I feel like I don't hear a ton of people talking about their gloss bomb cream version. I am obsessed with this lip gloss. Like truly it is so stinking good. I started off with Mauve Wives and I literally used it nonstop and was absolutely in love with it. So I bought two more <laughs> recently during their friends and family sale. They had a 30% off and I snagged these babies right here. This one is in the shade Fenty Glow and then this beautiful bright pink is in the shade Bubble Binge. So here is all three of them swatched for you. Again, we have Mauve Wives, Fenty Glow, and Bubble Binge. Look how bright that shade is. It is stunning on the cheeks. As you can see, they are very opaque they are going to give your lips color and shine they're not like the original gloss bombs that don't have a lot of color to them and even from what i'm seeing from the heat they seem to be a little bit more sheer as well these are going to be opaque and they are going to give your lips some color but the shades are beautiful and they make your lips look so juicy i'm telling you whenever i wear this lip gloss i almost feel like it looks like i got like lip filler which i'm not against lip filler and honestly your girl might get lip filler one day maybe botox i'm not against any of that stuff i haven't currently ever done that but i feel like when i use these glosses it almost looks like i have because they just make them look plump and juicy and it gets rid of all the lines in your lips i don't have I don't have one on. Again, I have another lip product on that I'm going to be talking about, but I've used these in past videos. I've talked about them in past videos. They're not underrated and not talked about in my on my channel, but I just feel like in general they are. And I'm here to tell you, if you have not tried these and you find a shade that you enjoy, because you have to pick a shade you're gonna like because it's gonna show up, I cannot recommend these more. <laughs> Next up, I will go ahead and talk about what is currently on my lips since I kind of already mentioned it, and it is the lipsticks from BK Beauty. Whenever you hear BK Beauty, nine times out of 10, you're probably going to automatically think about their brushes because that's really what they're known for. And don't get me wrong, their brushes are amazing. They're pricey, but in my humble opinion, they are amazing. They're soft, they're lovely, they put your makeup on beautifully. Highly recommend the brushes as well. However, I feel like not a lot of people talk about their lipsticks. They launched a couple months ago. They got kind of a little bit of buzz when they first launched. I did a whole video on them, swatching them on my hands and my lips, all of that to show you guys the different colors and shades. But other than that, I feel like they don't get a ton of buzz and they are so stinking good. They did send these to me in PR and they sent over five and I only have four here because I lost one. And I don't think I like actually lost it. I think it's just currently misplaced. I could have sworn it was in my purse because I remember wearing it to work recently, but then I looked in my purse and it wasn't in there and I need to find it because I love all five of the shades. All right, so I have them all swatched here for you. This one is called Inner Beauty. Then we have Passion. Then we have Self Love. And last up, we have Acceptance. Now, all of them are kind of in like the pinky tone sort of family, which I don't love. I do wish there was a little bit more variation between the shades. And the fifth one that I don't currently have with me is also like a pinky peachy sort of shade. I do have on Inner Beauty, the first one right here on my lips today. So I definitely would like to see Lisa J expand this line and come out with more shades, either more berry tones, and I would love to see them in more like nudie tones for sure, because they're all just a little bit pinky. But regardless of that, they are a beautiful lipstick formulation. They are so comfortable on the lips. It honestly feels like you're wearing a lip balm on your lips. That's how comfortable they are, but they do give you a little bit of tint. However, it's even better than a tinted lip balm in my opinion, because whenever I wear tinted lip balms, I really don't like them that much because whenever I wear them, I feel like they just kind of get everywhere on my lips. They get outside the lip line. They're a little bit messy. I just don't think on me personally, I like how they look. These ones look like a lipstick on your lips and they stay in place on your lips like a lipstick would. They're just as like moisturizing and hydrating and comfortable 
as a lip balm and they last for a pretty long time. Again, it's a bullet lipstick, so it's not gonna last like forever, but they feel like they do last for quite a bit of time and they fade off very gracefully from your lips. It's not going to be like where they're completely gone or they start coming off in the middle or they migrate everywhere and just, they just fade off very nicely. And again, I just cannot stress to you how comfortable they are and how much I am enjoying them. I really, really, really hope, like I said, she expands the shades and comes out with more because they are beautiful. Again, like everything in this video. If you have not tried it out, I highly, highly recommend these lipsticks. I think a lot of people would really enjoy the formulation and the colors that she chose. Next up, we have the Hot Fluff from Jason Wu Beauty. I think Jason Wu's makeup line is honestly underrated in general. I have quite a few of their products and I really love them all. I have a palette from them that's all matte and it is beautiful, it blends out nicely. I have their setting spray and their setting powder. I love both of those products. I actually have both of them on today. Not that you can really tell by looking at my face what powder and setting spray I have on, but I do have both of them on. So just kind of in general, I think this brand is underrated and needs more attention than it has. Everything pretty much I've tried from them, I really have enjoyed, and this is no exception. Again, this is their Hot Fluff. This is in the shade Cannoli. So what this is, it's kind of like an all-in-one sort of product. You can use it as a lipstick, but my favorite way to use it is as a blush. So here's the shade right here, and it does look pretty opaque and a little bit intense, so you might be thinking like, oh, I don't know about going in with this as a blush on your cheeks, but if you just kind of like blend it out and put like a really light layer on, it provides the most beautiful like terracotta orangey sort of shade. This is so beautiful on the skin. I'm gonna pop up a picture here of me wearing this as a blush and as a lipstick, so that way you can kind of see it used as one. I love this because I love a monochromatic look. You guys know that. I just am so into your eyes, your cheeks, your lips all kind of matching, and this is like the perfect product for that. Also, if you can tell, it's on the matte side, but it's not drying at all. It's not drying on your lips nor your cheeks when you apply it. It just kind of smooths out over both areas and just puts on like a really beautiful color. Also, these come in a ton of shades and he just expanded the shade range a couple weeks back and came out with, I wanna say like six or eight new shades and all of them look beautiful. This is the only one that I personally own right this second and the shades that he has are just unique. Some of them are your everyday shades that you would expect to see in a lipstick and a blush, but some of them just have like a little bit of twist on them. He came out with like an almost like purpley sort of one and like a really nude one. And I definitely want to pick up more of these in the future. I highly recommend this whole brand from what I have tried so far. I just think the whole brand is underrated. And last but not least, I wanna talk about Half Caked and I wanna talk about their candy paints. So, I, again, don't really see a lot of people talking about these. Some of my friends on my Instagram page love these and rave about them and have hit pan on a couple of the shades they have. So it's not like they're completely an unknown brand that no one talks about, but for like the everyday consumer, I feel like chances are they have not heard about Half Cake or their candy paints and they need to. This is their bronzer that I own. It's in the shade Morning View. It's a bronzer that I have on my cheeks today. And then this one is a blush and this is for your cheek and your lips. So you can use an on both. I really only use these on my cheeks as blushes, but this one is in the shade Yacht Week, and this is the blush that I have on today. So what I like about these, first of all, when you first apply them, they're pretty pigmented, which is honestly nice, but not too pigmented to where you go overboard. But once you keep like blending them in, buffing them in with whatever brush or sponge you use, you can get them blended in very beautifully. If you use them on their own, they are a little bit sticky and tacky. I want to preface that and warn you about that. If you do not set these with powder, for me personally, they're a little bit too sticky and too tacky and I would never not set it. I just feel like my hair would get all in it and it would be annoying. However, my favorite way to use these and how I use them today is you put your foundation, your concealer on, then apply these, then set your face down with powder and they, it just, oh my gosh, it looks so sticky stunning on the cheeks. So that's what I did today. I went ahead and applied the bronzer and the blush and then I set down my makeup with my Jason Wu setting powder and then I did add a um, powder highlight. But if you can see, it just looks so seamless and blended and perfected on the skin because you go over it with that powder and it just kind of all like melts it in. And then once you set it down with the setting spray on top of that, it melts it in even more. And I just feel like it's kind of hard to get this seamless and this perfect of a blend sometimes with other cream products 
or even with powder sometimes. Sometimes powders can just like catch on my face weirdly and can get patchy and with these that just does not happen. I have quite a few different bronzer shades which is nice. You can probably find one for your skin tone and then the blushes they have a ton. I want to say maybe like well not a ton but I want to say like 12 or 14. Like I said this is in Yacht Week but I also have two other shades. I didn't pull them out and show them. I maybe should have but I also have two other shades of the blush. These are just beautiful, stunning, and again, they last all day long. They do not fade, they do not budge. Also, these are really affordable in my eyes. I wanna say each one of them is like eight or nine dollars, and they're made in Tampa, Florida. They're made by two sisters that started this company together, which as someone who has a sister, I just think that's cool. I highly recommend Half Cake if you have not checked them out, especially their candy feeds. And that was it, you guys. That was some underrated products that I absolutely love that I think you guys should know about if you do not already or you guys should possibly try out if you have not already. I love all these products. They're amazing. They're wonderful. They're beautiful on the skin. And I highly recommend you checking them out. Let me know down below in the comments if you have tried any of these or if I introduced them to you today in this video and you have your eye on them. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome. I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.